All right, guys, so we got some brand new leaks and updates coming to Dragon Ball Legends. And in this video here, we're going to cover absolutely everything from A through Z. You guys know I got you covered every single weekly update and every single day, anything Dragon Ball Legends related, I got you here. So make sure you guys, you know, give it a simple uh, thumbs up, share it to your friends if you guys want. And don't forget to subscribe because I'd always greatly appreciate every single one of my subscribers. I really do. So without further ado, guys, let's straight up get into a shout out to Renzi and DBZ Space. We got a lot of cool stuff coming in, including this really cool, you know, great 8 Vegeta. At first, people were disappointed, but I'll tell you what, this is one of the coolest uh, LFs just because he could turn to the great up in the end. And it's actually the longest legends, uh, legendary finish, uh, you know, finish <laughs> in the whole game. It's like, a, it's like a few seconds longer than Vegito, Vegito Blue, I believe. So, uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. I mean, I don't, re I'm not, I'm not a big fan of long legendary finishes, but this one has an exception because it's a great ape. So, uh, you know, and then, and also this banner is actually pretty good, guys, because we got, you know, LF Broly, we got UI Goku coming in, we got LF Rose coming back, we got, you know, LF Frieza, which is. And I'm not a big fan of them, but, you know, we got them there. And possibly LF Kid Buu, uh, because usually they trinkle some other LFs onto this as well without uh, putting them on the cover. So, uh, quite excited for this banner. I will be summoning and uh, posting in about three hours from now. So, that's going to make four videos for, uh, for me for today, guys. So, that's pretty wild. Four videos. And I just really want to quickly thank you guys for all your guys' support. Honestly, like, you guys, you guys are amazing. Just for tuning in and, and giving a thumbs up is really great. So, uh, yeah, and in the bottom here, I'm really excited for it because we've got another World Challenge raid. Now, if you guys remember the one against Kefla, was actually very, very successful. There was, there was like a lot of stuff. There's over 1,200 crystals to grab or 1,300, I believe. So, yeah, a lot of cool stuff here, 1,300 crystals. I don't know if it's going to be the same time this time around, but it should be coming out this weekly, uh, I mean, not, yeah, this weekly reset, but not tonight. It's going to come out during the weekend, Friday, Saturday. So, depending on, uh, depending on where you guys live, but... Uh, yeah, a lot of cool rewards from this as well. So I love this. The whole Poi event is usually is usually tied into this as well. Um, I couldn't find anything, uh, you know, with the whole Poi event, but it should be tied into this if it's anything like the last World Challenge raid. So we also got Moonlight Fever login bonus. This is simply just a brand new login bonus. Nothing too crazy, but in the bottom here, we got some crystals up for grabs. We got the Knockdown, the Immortal Vegeta event uh, from the original series. Now, if you guys want to start grinding, uh, probably uh, this is this is not the extreme one, is it? Yeah, no, it's not. It's, it's the OG green one, but, um, you know, we can get Kaioken Goku off of this. So, I don't know if this means a Kaioken Goku uh, Zenkai upcoming next week. That's a good, very strong possibility, actually, because... They're giving him away for free, and he's pretty useless. Uh, you know, I mean, he does kind of just, you know, I mean, he's still a really good bench unit, but as of right now, he's pretty useless. So we could perhaps see a Zenkai, uh, Kaoken Goku coming in the near future. So uh, look out for that, and I'll keep you guys updated. We're also going to get the Adventure Choice Battle. This is something brand new, guys. Win battles to get job requests. These job requests this time around will give us goodies like souls, Zenkai souls, because I always thought these were kind of grindy. And I always wish that, uh, you know, um, uh, the the adventures that we normally do get, I, I, I always wish that they they tied into some more rewarding things instead of just having to get, uh, you know, the items. Then we have to go to the shop. It, it, it's cool to get the items and having, having to go to the shop, but it'd be cool to be tied into something else as well. So that's very interesting. Also in the middle here, we got something that's another interesting thing. And I'm going to explain just why. We got the uh, hyperdimensional co-op versus Piccolo event now. Obviously, I believe this is the Saiyan Saga one, uh, so that's why he's there. But uh, nonetheless, guys, they're putting a lot of old units back, especially because, you know, this Piccolo is here now. And we're getting the Extreme Goku in the Battle Gauntlet that's going to come out, I believe, next week after this uh, Bardock Battle Gauntlet is over. So uh, keep an eye out for that. But they are bringing out a lot of older units uh, in these, like pictures and banners and stuff like that and that's just something to keep an eye out i'm not reaching too much but that's just something to keep an eye out maybe a zenkai on one of these uh down the line for sure so um and the, the bottom we, we just covered this right here so uh you know uh, free crystals and we could get that uh goku once again uh for i don't know how long so um i mean he's pretty useless i'm pretty sure a lot of us have them maxed out so uh, and these are the adventures that I mentioned before, guys. Uh, you know, they look kind of unique. We can get Zenkai souls from this and regular souls from this. So that's really cool, too. Uh, this, you know, brand new Vegeta equipment, I'm assuming is going to be for Saiyan Saga. Uh, I'm not quite sure on that. But um, as for the color of the character, by the time I'm recording this, uh, we don't have the exact color. We might. I'll double check right now with you guys. But um, the, the reason why I'm recording this uh, video for you guys so fast is because I want to get the information 
out as quickly as possible so you guys are well informed before the update because by the time you guys watch this video if you guys go to your uh, character selection screen there should be already the characters there if you scroll all the way down uh kind of blanked out like you don't have them and you can check out their stats and stuff like that so you guys can check that on your own and i'll definitely post it on my twitter as well but check out this artwork guys you know we have a uh, the the ultra vegeta that we have the uh, um the frieza saga one does not look as good as this this one right here, I feel like they put a little bit of extra effort. Like, there's a few LFs that I feel like actually look like LFs. Uh, if you look at LF Kid Buu, he looks good, but he doesn't necessarily look like an LF. I don't know why. I feel like this is just mainly because he's carrying that uh, kind of like spear bomb in his hand right there. Uh, ish and it, it's just kind of like really shining on his face. And then with the shading on the Dragon Ball Legends kind of theme, the shading theme actually looks really really fantastic so quite excited for this and let's check to see if they updated anything uh not yet no, no, nothing uh on the colors of the characters you guys can check that out for yourself but um as for the colors i would say probably either green or red and don't forget we just got you know kakara goku that buffs saiyan sagas and he buffs red saiyan sagas i believe so i there's a good possibility this guy might be red so that goku could tie into him but that's that's just shooting a little bit out like i said you know any minute out we should know the colors either that or green i feel like would be another good one as well uh but i will also record a how to get crystals guide for you guys uh to make sure you guys are all up to date and as well as you know uh, i'll keep you guys updated on a whole bunch of stuff and by the way guys i've mentioned this before in the past um uh, i am uh, making a brand new youtube uh, that i will be releasing a, a the end of the month should be in the end of the month of how to make uh money you know uh gaming because i believe that's really important uh coming from a game where it requires you to spend money like this um uh, a game like this is really um i don't know uh, a game like this is kind of you you can spend the money it's fine i don't really mind spending the money but as long as you guys could make money somewhere else and spend it then if i could help you guys with that and it's very possible we're living in a brand new age guys like you can literally make money gaming online now and and i can show you how and much 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 other things <laughs> so i'm really excited for my new youtube and i'll announce it here as well as well as on my twitter so make sure you guys go to my twitter uh which is uh dbzoom underscore yt right here link is is in the description down below and you guys can check out the daily updates and i'm gonna make sure to also post the colors of the characters there as well but like i said uh you know shout out to renzi renzi usually posts it here but uh everything's a little bit extra delayed right now for some reason just because you know yeah uh, but yeah, that's pretty much going to cover up the video, guys. If you guys did enjoy the video, like I said, make sure you guys like, subscribe, because I'd always greatly appreciate every single one of my subscribers. And uh, share to your friends if you guys want to, uh, you know, uh, keep them up to date as well. So I'll definitely catch you guys on the next video. Have a good one. Peace.